subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Eastern Spotted Skunk. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. I'm playing mini golf. I'm trying to hit the ball with this golf club to get the ball into that hole over there. Okay, here it goes. Come on, ball, go in. Oh, yes, it's in. Woohoo! Let's get the ball, Hero. What? Ah, what's this? You brought my golf ball back. Thanks. What animal is this? You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is an eastern spotted skunk. It can spray a really smelly liquid at predators to scare them off. But the eastern spotted skunk will warn a predator before spraying. How does it warn a predator? First, the skunk stamps its front paws on the ground. If a predator doesn't leave, the skunk will do a handstand. Then it gets back on all four legs, arches its body, and sprays the smelly liquid. It will take about 10 days before the skunk can spray again. Then we better be careful with the skunk. Yes, we should, Leo. By the way, eastern spotted skunks live in North American prairies and woodlands. Hmm, we should take the skunk there and find it a good home, or it might get too smelly here. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you have an eastern spotted skunk with you today. Yes, Ranger Rocky. It came out of a hole in our garden. It returned my golf ball. Perhaps the skunk thought your golf ball was food. Skunks are scavengers, which means they eat anything they can find. They eat fruit, worms, eggs, leaves, you name it. Their favorite prey, however, are insects and rodents. That is why they can be important for farmers. Eastern spotted skunks eat insects that feed on farmers' crops. They also help farmers get rid of pests, like rats and mice. I didn't know skunks can be so useful. Ranger Rocky, we want to find a suitable home for the skunk. Do you know what we should look for? You should take it to a place with shelter, so a place that protects them from bad weather and danger. Eastern spotted skunks like to live in burrows, tree holes, and hollow logs, and sometimes inside and under buildings. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Ah, my hat! I'll get it back for you, Leo. Thanks, Katie. Katie, there's a coyote on your side. <gasps> nice coyote. Katie! Get away from my sister! At least it got away from Katie. Chase the coyote away. Ew, 
it stinks. Good work, Skunk. Here you go, Leo. Thanks, Katie. And you too, Skunk. Goodbye, Skunk. We did it. We found a home for the Eastern Spotted Skunk. Good work, everybody. Hooray! Yay! an eastern spotted skunk in our garden. We learned that skunks spray a very smelly liquid when they feel threatened. We also learned that farmers like to have them around because skunks help get rid of pests. So we found the eastern spotted skunk a new home at a small vegetable farm. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Malayan Taper. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Do you want to see what's inside this book? It's filled with animals that can camouflage. Camouflage means the animal can hide in the environment because of its skin or fur. Look, here's a picture of an owl on a tree branch. Can you see it? And this tiger is really hard to see in the high grass. Camouflage helps animals hide from predators. But sometimes it helps the predator so it can sneak up on other animals. <coughs> hey, maybe there's an animal hiding in our garden right now. Let's try to find it. How strange! Could this be an animal? Hey, it is an animal! I wonder what animal this is. I know! Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little one. Hi, Katie. So did you find out what animal it is? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a baby Malayan taper, also known as an Asian taper. A Malayan taper? There are five different types of tapers, but Malayan tapers are the only tapers found in Asia. Why does the baby taper look so different from its mother? That's because the fur coat of the baby taper acts as camouflage and helps it blend in with the forest floor. It makes it hard for other animals to hunt them. When the Malayan taper gets older, its coat starts to fade and it will look just like its parents. I see. What about the food they eat? Malayan tapers feed on leaves, fruits, and plants. They use their long snouts as hands, which they use to pick their food. That sounds handy. Malayan tapers live in rainforests in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. It must be lost without its mother. And its camouflage doesn't work very well in our garden. We should bring it back home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the baby taper would love that. See you downstairs. Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought along a very rare friend. Very rare? Very rare because there aren't many of them left. 
Malayan tapirs are an endangered species. That means they are animals that are in danger of disappearing forever. That's terrible. Why are they in danger of disappearing forever? They are endangered because more and more of their forests are cut down, and sometimes they are also hunted by humans. Oh no! Then we have to make sure we return this little one home to its mother. If you want to find the baby tapir's mother, keep a lookout for riverbanks near a lot of trees and plants. Malayan tapirs like to live near water, so they can bathe and swim, and the trees give them shade. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Come on, everyone. We're getting close. What was that? Did anyone hear that? Ah! Look how fast Baby Taper can run! Oh no! The tiger is trying to catch the Baby Taper. Hero, be careful! Wait, they're coming back! Leo, use this! Good idea, Katie. Let's hope this works. Now! Now let's get the Jeep here. The tiger didn't appear yet, so I think it worked. But what about Hero? Don't worry about Hero. His nose can lead him here. Quickly, let's go in the Jeep. Oh no! Something's coming! Hero. Hero! Good work, Hero! Now let's go! We did it! We found the baby taper's mother! Great work, everyone! Hooray! Yay! a baby Malayan taper in our garden. We learned that the Malayan taper lives near riverbanks with lots of shade. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The plantain squirrel. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Oh, this is my collection of seeds. Seeds come from plants, and they make the same plants. Seeds come in many different shapes, colors, and sizes. I want to sort all of them into these bowls. The small ones go here, the long ones go here, and the big ones go into the last bowl. Hey, are you eating my seed collection? Hmm, I think it's a squirrel, but it sounds like a little bird. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi Katie, did you find anything? Hi, Leo. I sure did. It seems that the squirrel you found is a plantain squirrel. Plantain squirrels live in trees and they belong to a group of squirrels called tree squirrels. As a tree squirrel, the plantain squirrel is a very good climber. Its curved claws provide a good grip when it climbs trees. It uses its long and bushy tail for balance when it jumps from place to place. The tail of our squirrel doesn't look very long and bushy. That's because it's very young. It's only around five to six weeks old. Baby squirrels at this stage are around half the size of an adult squirrel. I see. So what kind of food do plantain squirrels eat? Normally, plantain squirrels eat fruits, seeds, insects, and sometimes even bird eggs. But since the squirrel you found is still a baby, it needs to feed on its mother's milk to grow into a strong adult squirrel. 
Plantain squirrels live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Then let's go there and return the baby squirrel to its nest and mother, since it still needs proper care and food. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought along a young plantain squirrel with you today. The plantain squirrel is very quick and agile in trees. They are able to jump a few meters between trees, and they rarely wander on the ground. It likes to stay on my hat. Hey, the baby squirrel's gone. There it is. It's eating the tree bark. Actually, the young plantain squirrel is chewing the tree bark. Chewing bark and twigs helps the squirrel to sharpen its teeth. Normally, baby squirrels use the bark and twigs from their nest. So I guess this young squirrel really needs to get back to its home. But where can we find its nest? Plantain squirrels' nests can be found in the crooks or hollows of tall and leafy trees. So they are in high, safe places that are away from predators on the ground. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. What do you see, Leo? There's a nest up in that tree. Maybe it belongs to the baby squirrel's family. Come on, everybody. Let's have a look. It doesn't seem very friendly. It's flicking its tail and chittering very loudly. It's trying to scare us away. This nest must belong to that squirrel. I guess we should keep looking. Don't worry, little friend. We'll make sure we find your home. Another nest. Maybe this is its home. Oh no! We have to save it! I can't climb this tree. I'll use my propeller. No, Leo. The propeller might hit the squirrel. Use your jetpack instead. You're right, Katie. Here I go. Oh no! It's too late! Whoa! That was amazing, baby squirrel! That was exciting! I guess we better go somewhere else. Goodbye, little friend! We did it! We found the baby squirrel's home! Great job, everyone! Hooray! Yay! We found a baby plantain squirrel in our garden. We learned that plantain squirrels sound like birds when they chitter and that they are amazing tree climbers. So we went to the forest and brought it back home to its nest. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The reindeer. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Look what I found, Hero. It's our frisbee. Do you want to play? Catch! Good job, Hero. One more time, catch! Oh, hello. You can run really fast. Where do you come from? It looks like a deer. 
I wonder how it ended up in our garden. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Say cheese. Hi, Katie. What did you find out? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a young reindeer. And because it's young, it's a reindeer calf. A reindeer? Aren't reindeer the animals that pull Santa Claus's sleigh? Yes, the very same. Reindeer are found in Northern Europe, North America, Greenland, and Asia. They live in the mountains, woodlands, or the tundra. The tundra? The tundra is a large and mostly flat land. It's a very cold place that is often covered in snow. Almost no trees grow in the tundra. To find food like grass and small plants, reindeer will travel long distances to colder regions during summer and travel to warmer regions during winter. This traveling is called migration. Reindeer can travel up to 5,000 kilometers a year. It helps that reindeer can run very fast. A baby reindeer can start running within 90 minutes of its birth. However, sick reindeer, older reindeer, and calves are often easy targets for predators like eagles, wolves, and lions. This is because they are not as fast as a healthy young adult reindeer. Mother reindeer usually travel closely with their young when they migrate. This reindeer calf must have been separated from its mother. We should take it back. Come and join us. Good idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the Woodlands. I see you've made a new friend, a young reindeer. We think it might have been separated from its mother. You just missed its herd, Junior Rangers. A group of reindeer is called a herd, and its mother should be in that herd. It left the Woodlands this morning for the much cooler north. How can reindeer survive in the cold? Reindeer have fur with two coat layers. The undercoat is soft wool that stays close to their skin, while the outer coat is made up of long and hollow hairs that trap body heat. Reindeer have a strong sense of smell, too, which allows them to find food in the snow. How can reindeer walk and run on snow, Ranger Rocky? Reindeer have four toes on each foot called hooves. When a reindeer walks on snow, its hooves spread out wide to support its weight and help it walk steadily. The sharp edges of the hooves give reindeer a good grip on icy or rocky surfaces. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! That's strange. The hoof prints stop here. Where did the reindeer herd go? Oh, no! The reindeer has jumped into the water! Don't worry, Leo. Reindeer can swim very well. They often swim during migration. I see. So the reindeer herd swam to cross the river. Let's follow it. Hmm, the reindeer has slowed down. What happened? It says here, that reindeer calves may not have enough strength to swim across a river as wide as this one. Ah. Oh no! What ah. can we do? I know. Let's use this rope to pull the reindeer in. Here goes! Ah. Ah. Oh no! The water is moving too strong here. Close. You saved its life, uh, hero. Look! Uh, that 
reindeer must be the calf's mother. The bond between a mother reindeer and her calf is so strong that they can recognize each other by smell. We did it! We found the reindeer's herd and mother. Good job, everyone! Hooray! Yay! a young reindeer in our garden. We learned that reindeer can run very fast and that they migrate to colder regions during the summer. So we followed the reindeer's herd and brought the reindeer back to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. <laughs>